Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I wanted to show you how to make a really simple minimalistic scene with our focus being mainly shifted towards the sunset and sunrise lighting setup using a slightly different techniques from my older videos. This video will be a bit simpler. This is targeted towards beginners using Blender as always. And like regularly, I will be linking down all of the necessary assets. So follow along. As you could see, we are starting with a base mesh, which I will be linking down below from the SketchUp warehouse. Download it and import it as a collab file. After separating everything by materials, let's give you a rundown all of the materials that I have used in this case. I am starting with a concrete slab from Ambient CG, which is called Concrete 008, using a base color map, albedo map as well as a roughness map and a normal or bump map choose whatever fits you we also have a really simple glass setup which only consists of a simple PSDF material and a volume absorption material for the PSDF we have our roughness set to almost zero and our transmission set to one with a bit less alpha in order to get a slightly more transparent look for the wood i am literally just using the material embedded from our sketch file which comes by default when we import it now what we can do to improve this material is to add our same exact texture to our roughness and plug also a color ramp in between in order to make this image monochrome so none color plug the same exact thing into the normal map and add a bump map in between bump node so make sure that it's set up to the height and adjust the distance and strength until it works in this case it looks okay from a distance but if you want to go ahead and have a close-up i would highly recommend that you go ahead and take one from ambient cg or the blender kit as you could see in front of you for the rest of the materials they are pretty much default from what comes from our file the ground will be mostly hitting the concrete steps won't have too much emphasis on which is why i'm not giving them away too much time obviously the more time you spend on it the better it will look i will be using cycles and gpu compute if you have that I like to have my denoise on and let's add our camera in order to establish a nice composition that will fit our small scenery as you can see in front of you a focal length of around 22 24 would work really well and play ahead with the shift y in the camera settings and options as you can see we have no lights so at this time we need to add some lights which is why you need to download this easy HDRI add-on we could be not using it but I highly recommend that you go ahead and download it maybe drop a few bucks to the developer in order to support it for instance go ahead and download it it's free and install it by going to edit preferences install add-on and just drop it and press install after that you need to locate it and just go ahead to your directory in which you have all of your HDRIs and choose an HDRI that you like. In this case, I have used the Cypher Stain HDRI, if I'm not mistaken. Polyhaven has some HDRI, PG Skies, uh, many, many sites. I like 3D Collective a lot. I work with these people, HDRIs all of the time. And this one is free, obviously. And it looks okay, it has very strong directional lighting, which is what we want in this case. Now, don't worry, it looks really ugly. I will be fixing it in a minute with a very nice trick. Now, this add-on lets you access some very nice options like adding strength to the sun only by using a certain node setup. Now, you don't see the node setup, you could go ahead to the word editor and check it up. The key is to use AGX, as you could see in front of you. With Filmic, we have that really ugly yellow look of 
for example, the I'm not sure if anyone have used V-Ray from like six or seven years ago. The default options look really ugly before the new renewed sky and sun system. So it has that yellowy look, which AGX fixes for us. After doing that, let's add some grass by using the Geoscatter add-on and the biome from the grass blade, clean grass. You could use any biome that you want. You could not even use Geoscatter. I will be making a video soon, I promise, about the best nature assets available since I do get this question very, very often on my videos as well as showing you how to make your own free trees if you don't have access to something like the botanic add-on or any other type of pack since the better ones usually are paid as you can see i'm just playing around with the seed trying to make it look less chaotic and more polished it works correct now at this point let's add some trees and this will help us immensely with our lighting since currently we have a very directional light and little to no details in our material, so we need to slightly add some more interest using lighting. As you can see, it looks really, really nice and solid. As always, go ahead and play with the gamma, for example, to add some slightly more contrast and up the strength of the sun. Play with the tent if you want, and just go ahead and play with your shadow object. Duplicate it around until you get a very nice day plumbing effect so something like gobos in this case we could use gobos but in my case i just use an actual tree model which gives me a nice result add your trees try to frame the eye to the uh, to the viewer's eye to the house by having a sort of shape guiding you towards the house so just go ahead and play around as you could see here i try to kind of hide the sides and keeping some sun in the middle with a sort of arc look exposed for the sky now as you can see we have a super nice lighting i really enjoy this lighting quite honestly you know this can be greatly improved inside of post-production but we can talk about this later on at this point i highly recommend that you add some more details i have spent around eight minutes and i already have an okay result so spend more time polish it add the more assets you know make make them make sense as long as they make sense don't just add in order of adding make sure that it benefits your image otherwise it will just look cluttered and noisy in this case i won't be adding much for the sake of make keeping this video short and concise like i mentioned this is mostly the takeaway is just to have a look at the easy HDRI add-on and understand how it works. Go ahead and make sure to rotate to scale up. You know, you could go ahead and, for example, add some ivy, like I will probably be doing in a second. So, as you as you could see, I'm just making use of the assets that come from the Botanic add-on. 3D Shaker has some great assets, I believe so. Evermotion, Max 3. Again, I will be mentioning this in future videos. In this case, I'm adding some slight ivy. In order to add some more interest, you don't have to. You know, in this case, debatable if it looks good or if it doesn't. Honestly, I don't like the look. But I just wanted to point this out in the video to give you just a simple idea. So just try adding some more details you could go ahead and add people inside of the render you could go ahead and add kids playing furniture uh, some lights indoor lights that can work really well too and at this point i'm just trying to add some more details which will look this which will make this scene look slightly less boring and more alive Now, as you would see, I'm just going ahead and playing without my camera again, revisiting it, making sure that the composition works. Now, we got a very nice result within 8 to 10 minutes. If you give this project around 2 hours or 3 hours, 
it will look perfect and you could share it up on your portfolio on Instagram. Please send me all of your creations. I have had people already sending me their creations and they have looked immensely impressive. I will be sharing them in the future as well. This video is already scheduled, so I didn't, I forgot to really actually share them. So, as you could see, I'm just playing around with the easy HD Roy add on. I'm just showing you the effect of the tint as well. Which, you know, you could add whatever tint you want, right? If you want a certain purple look for whatever reason, you could go ahead and do that. And we have a super nice and quick result. I mean, it looks okay for 20 minutes. The more time you spend, the better it will look. As always, if you have made something out of this, feel free to subscribe. Maybe talk with me on Instagram or join our Discord as well. And again, if you make something, please send it over. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Or as always, just come over and talk with me on Discord. We have some really nice people and some actual professionals in there which can help you out. So until next time, take care and enjoy yourself.